Here in this video, we're going to cover 6.7, solving an equation using the odd property, problem type 1. So it says solve v cubed equal to 25, where v is a real um, number. So just like we have a square root property, we also have an odd property, which tells us that if we take the odd root of both sides, Um, this root will undo this exponent, leaving you with just v. And then on this side, you don't need to have a plus or minus symbol. Like when you take uh, v squared, for instance, equal to 25, and you take the square root on both sides, eventually you end up with v, but you end up with plus or minus whatever the square root of 25 is. And in this case, it happens to be 5. And so when it's a square, when this is an even power, and you take an even root, you get this plus or minus, okay? However, with the odd property, when this is odd, and you take an odd index, right here, right? This is an odd index, then you do not need the plus or minus. So we just end up with the cube root of 25. Now, had that simplified, I would have simplified it, but if you break up 25, it's 5 times 5, which is already prime numbers, which means 25 equals 5 squared. But the index is 3 here, so I would need 3 of these in order for one of them to come out, and I don't have enough, so it's just going to stay like that, the cube root of 25. So this is the actual answer, cube root of 25. Now similarly over here, we're going to take the cube root on both sides and then the cube root on this side. And here we get V by itself. And here I get the cube root of nine, which will not simplify because nine is just three times three. Um, so it stays a nine inside. However, you can simplify the negative. When you take a negative root, you will end up with a negative number, okay? So you can take that negative out. It's the same thing as doing the cube root of negative one times the cube root of nine. And then um, the cube root of negative one is a negative one, right? It's just we don't write that invisible one in our answer. We don't ever write one coefficients, okay? So it just stays negative cube root of nine. Now, for instance, this isn't one of the examples on here, but let's say it was v cubed of 125, negative 125. Then when I did the cube root on both sides, this v would go away, and because of the negative, it would be a negative number. And the cube root of 125 does simplify into a nice number. It just simplifies into 5. And so then the answer for that one is actually v equals negative 5.